Oh, my. What's going on? What's going on? Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Big Time Show. Good evening to everyone. Uh, hello to everyone that is on pod mean. I see my man Glenn is in the house. Hey, Glenn, I see you done snuck in here, man. Appreciate you joining in. And hello to uh, everyone that is on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and to Periscope. This is another great night. Uh, we got a few things to talk about, but before we begin, as always, I'd like to give credit, of course, to uh, my friend, uh, Alex, Alex X Winters, uh, the person that you heard uh, my theme music come from. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram. He has that type of music, young jazz artist. All you have to do is follow what you see on the screen, Alex X Winters. Uh, on Instagram, and you can listen to all the great music that he has. I also like to take this time to uh, give recognition to our sponsor of the Big Time Show podcast, the Fragrance Shop Memphis uh, Facebook page. Uh, Fragrance Shop Memphis at gmail.com is the email address that you will have. Listen, we're getting very close uh, to Valentine's Day now. Uh, we, I'm not going to say you're running out of time, but we're getting close. Listen, if you really want to give something that's lasting to your uh, significant other or uh, to your uh, spouse or whatever, you can get some very great cologne or perfume from the Fragrance Shop Memphis. That's in the Facebook page. All you have to do is type that in, go to it. I promise you they have everything that you need. Uh, as far as fragrances goes, there at the fragrance shop. Go ahead and do that. Uh, it's your convenience. We're running out of time. If you're living out of town, it's no big deal. Uh, it can get shipped to you uh, rather quickly. So I hope that you would go ahead and uh, consider the Fragrance Shop Memphis uh, Facebook page. All you have to do is type it in. They will be able to take care of you. Listen, this is a a fun time. I'm glad to share again with you guys tonight uh, for those that will be coming in. Hey, hey, Wendy, I see you. Wendy said, well, yes, Dax said Wendy's left away. <laughs> yeah, well, it's no sense of, of me. Well, I tell you what, I, I, I do need to do one thing first before I, I, I do. I just want to make sure because I don't want to jump in the middle of the street and get ran over you understand so I, I i have to do one thing before i get started uh y'all should know by now what that is okay hey yeah i see you glenn you a little early but you good man just hang with me let, let me look at my phone yeah uh y'all look at y'all's too before we get started because i your phone may be a little bit you know i mean i got a new phone a real good one uh so, you know, I I, I just want to make sure before I start that that the breaking news has not come back. So let me check again. Uh, well, it is Dak Prescott still not signed. <sighs> it, it, ladies and gentlemen. By now, by now, y'all, by now, so, some of us just have to admit that that really this situation to me can be summed up in, in just two words, just two words. Those two words are totally ridiculous that 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 that's 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 all that's that's the two words that sums up this whole situation we're in the, i don't know if you know we're in a real life soap opera I, I mean this is better than 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 the young and the restless why i say that because it it, it hadn't just started it this has been a three year soap opera same plot same situation and unfortunately the same results Dak still does not have a long-term 
contract. When to say it can be summed up in three words, slapped in the face. It, it that that's a good one too, cause cause it's the truth. It, it, it's the truth. I, I, you can sum it up in one word: disrespectful. That, how about that? That's all of these fit into this soap opera that we are seeing. We have we have the same uh, cast every week. I mean, every year we got Jerry Jones, we have Stephen Jones, we got Dak Prescott. It, it's the same plot, same storyline. Every when you turn on ESPN, they can't even talk about the Super Bowl hardly because they got to squeeze in Dak Prescott. It's 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 on Get Up every, every morning. It's on Undisputed. It's on First Take. These are the shows that everybody watch. Early in the morning, if you have, if you're not at work, first take, undisputed, uh, and get up on ESPN. Air all of them every day. It is is the same story. Everybody has the same, just about the same. Uh, uh, I want to say the same dilemma. The, the dilemma is why is this man not signed? Nobody understands it. Nobody. The analysts don't understand it. They the formal players don't understand it. They nobody understands it. Nobody. Then we come to the fan base. And you know, when it comes to the fan base, as I told you guys before, it really depends on where you stand talking about that. You know, I, I don't I don't know. I, I see you, Wendy. It's a nightmare, yeah. It it, it 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 all depends on where you stand. Uh, is it is it if you don't like that, then you really not having a real problem with this. You really not. You really not, because you you probably think he don't deserve a contract. You think we should have left it a long time ago. If you if you side with Jerry Jones, uh, then you like drama because we all know by now that Jerry likes likes the attention to be on on the Cowboys. And for sure, this is a situation that's bringing nothing but, uh, 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 you know, all type of drama and attention to the Cowboys. So this is not a surprise on that. Now we get, we, you know, if, if, if you, I see you, Gary, hey, bro, Gary, my brother's in here, Gary. So listen, if, if you don't believe and, and, you know, let, you know, Gary is saying what I've been telling everybody for two years. And, and, you know, that's another whole segment by itself that Jerry Jones, I always say he don't fully believe in him. Uh, that's what I say. I don't believe that he fully believes in what that can do. As, as we've said so many times, when he came to Romo, he said he could believe Romo could win a Super Bowl. When he came to Dax, they said, he said, uh, I believe that can win us games. Y'all notice that difference. Super Bowl with Romo, you can just win games with Dak. So that ought to tell you by itself what he really thinks. And, you know, and then if you don't, if you're coming from the Dak perspective, the problem that I've had with Dak Prescott is that Dak is so much of a good guy. He, he's done everything by the book, no question about that. He 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 he's done things uh, by hey hey Matt, good to see you man. Hey hey Matt, what's going on? Uh, he, he's done things by the book, and he does not cause trouble. He does not, and it depends on what, how you look at it. Uh, I am on this side. You may not agree with me, but it, it, this is what I feel about it. I feel like Dak is just too nice. I believe that at some point you have to stand up for what you believe in. You just can't let people run over you and, and, and dictate and all that kind of stuff, especially when you're in a position of power, when you have leverage, when you have all that type of stuff. You got to say something because if you don't, They'll just treat you the way that they want to. Case in point, look how Dak has been treated for the last three years. Everybody on the team has gotten paid. I've never seen an organization pay everybody 
and then pay the quarterback last. Usually it's the other way around. It's usually the quarterback get paid first, and then the team makes adjustments from that point on. I ain't never, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this before. Uh, I, I, I'm still seeing it. Hey, Glenn, I'm sorry. I'm just not popping back. Show 73 of still, yeah, 73 of still no deck. Did I have that many shows, uh, Glenn? I don't think I got that many, but yeah. See, I, 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 Dak still not saying, as a child who had to suffer through young and restless, <laughs> being better don't take much. <laughs> exactly. I, 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 I don't see everybody got paid. The janitors got paid. The, the, the people that washed the uniforms, they, they got paid before Dak. The, the parking lot security, they got paid before Dak. Uh, the security for Jerry Jones, they they got paid before Dak. The concession stand workers, they got a raise. They got paid before Dak. The players, everybody, practice players got a raise. I, I mean, good God, everybody got paid. But Dak still sitting on the sideline being a good company guy. I couldn't stand that, y'all. I, 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 I'm built a little differently. I'm not knocking because, hey, Dak is going to get his one way or the other. And, you know, as everybody say, some, and, you know, as a preacher like I am, I've told people for, for, I've told people throughout the years, hey, let the Lord fight your battle. Let the Lord fight your battle. Maybe that's what Dak is doing, but my God, sometimes you got to stand up because it just doesn't make any sense. And I'm saying in this instance, I, 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 I get the salary cap thing. I get it, but. The only conclusion I have is that they just don't believe in them. Okay? Now, the soap opera uh, uh, got a little juicy. I told you guys. Didn't I tell y'all? Did, did, didn't, I, didn't I tell you guys that on Saturday when we had our, in our last session together, I told you guys that between Saturday and Tuesday, which is now, Something was gonna happen. Didn't I tell y'all that? That that the that the saga is gonna continue. Look, I want to talk about the draft. I want to talk about some of these players. I want to talk about position coaches. I want to talk about the Lakers. I I'm more than just the Dallas Cowboys. I want to talk about the Lakers. I want to talk about golf. I want to talk about uh uh you know LeBron. I want to talk about some of these these issues. I want to talk about some some religious type. I, I want to talk, but but that just keep pulling me back in. They 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 keep pulling. They won't let me go. And and, and case in point, something happened. Didn't I tell y'all was gonna happen? Y'all should know it by now because you don't heard about it. You 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 don't heard about it by now. But just in case some of you haven't, and I doubt very serious because I got a whole bunch of cowboy fanatics in here. They, you already know where I'm going. There was a video that came out, a hype video, in which the Cowboys were saying that the 2021 season has now begun. Why? Because the Super Bowl has been played. The offseason is, uh, is now open. If you haven't seen the video, go to the Dallas Cowboys page and you'll see it. But I, I'll help you if you have not. The Cowboys. Put out the video, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And the, the, the video showed uh, plays and players from the Cowboys. From the past all the way up until now. There was Troy Aikman is in the video. Emmitt Smith is in the video. Uh, up to now, I, I, saw, I saw DeMarcus Lawrence in the video. I saw... Amari Cooper in the video. I saw Ezekiel Elliott in the video. I saw Dalton Schultz. Yeah. I saw him in the video. I, I saw that. I saw it. I, I, but I didn't see somebody that was supposed to have been in the video. I I, 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 mean, I mean, yeah, 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 Glenn. I'm a, I've been a Lego fan all my life, too, since I was old about, man, this go back to 19. Oh, my goodness. Whenever, when, as soon as Magic got there, that was it for me. I, so I'm 1980 with the Lakers, seven years old. 
was fully aware of what's going on. I'm a Laker fan, so that answers your question exactly. But everybody was in the video except Dak Prescott. Y'all, y'all, by now, so all of y'all, pretty much all of you have seen it. And I said to myself, what? That 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 that's that's all that was my response. Like, huh? What? I, 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 huh? You gonna sit and tell me? Y'all, y'all listen. I'm not knocking them, but I just want y'all to understand the gravity of what I'm talking about. I, um, you gonna sit and tell me that Dalton Schultz? Is in the video and Dak Prescott is not. I mean, who was throwing the passes to Dalton Schultz? Huh? I, I guess you can say, I guess you might say Dalton uh Andy Dalton. Okay. But Dalton Schultz is in the video and, and Dak Prescott is not. I, I, what? Yeah, 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 Gary. You, it, it, it was a subliminal message, and and then Gary says also that it was blatant disrespect. I, I, I I'm just, I, I'm just wondering, what you put? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You put Troy Aikman in it. I, 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 I mean. And you didn't put the present quarterback in? Huh? What? I'm, let me say it again, because I because I hope this is You're going to tell me. I, I'm, I'm coming, Wendy. I'm coming. I'm coming. You're going to sit and tell me that Dalton Schultz, I mean, in essence, a bag up tied in. Now, Schultz had a, you know, a solid year. Changed a lot of people's mind about him. But he's a bag up tied in. Blake Jarvin was, was, was uh, healthy. Dalton Schultz wouldn't get what he got. We all know that. But you're going to put a Blake, I mean, a, a bag of tight. Where's your quarterback? Huh? So, so, they knew they was wrong. They, 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 they knew it was wrong. Or did they? Or, or let me throw that out. Or did they know they was wrong? That goes back to what Gary just said about, about uh, blatant disrespect uh, or subliminal messages, Gary said. I I, I don't know if that was it, it was done. Cause see, let me let me just fast forward. I, I, I'm trying to stay somewhat in order here. I hope you guys can see that. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, uh, but but this is this is Derek Eagleton. If this is on your screen, let me know if you can see it on your screen. People, talk to me. Talk to me if you can see it on your screen. Talk to me. Put a yes or something. Let me see. Let talk to me. Let me know. But if, if, if Derek Eagleton, who's is the leader of the 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 media, social media of the Dallas Cowboys, hurry up and say, "Thank you, Matt." This is what he says. Y'all, y'all see it on your screen. Let me. Let, let, hey, Jacquez. This is what he's saying, y'all. This, this is the leader, and and they think, hey, man. They they think that uh, they they think that somebody you're insulting the fan base intelligence. I, I thank y'all for letting me know he's there. Listen, y'all. Let, 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 let's read this together. Let's read this together. He says this was simply an oversight. Okay, that should have been caught and corrected by us. Anyone who's making it seem like Cowboys decision makers use social media videos to make statements doesn't understand or take the time to understand how it all works. Trust me, there's no story here. Man, are you crazy? Y'all, 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 come on, talk to me. Y'all, let me let me take this off. Y'all, come on, talk to me. What? What? First of all. What do you say? Let, let me put that back up there. Let, let, I almost need to see so much meat in this right here. I can almost dissect it. Y'all don't mind if I just leave it up here. Let me work with this real quick. Let me let's let's go down to the bottom part there. He says he says this. He says, uh, anyone that's us, y'all fans, anyone 
who make it seem like Cowboys decision makers use social media videos to make statements don't own, I mean, doesn't understand or take the time to understand how it works. Let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there, fam. Are you crazy, man? First of all, how many people work in your department? How many eyes saw the video before it, before it went out for everybody to see? Out of all them eyes that saw that video, you going to sit here and tell me that nobody didn't notice that Dak Prescott was not in the video? Come on now. I, 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 huh? Part B, I'm sorry you don't see you don't see this. This this is why I don't like that's the only part I don't like about Pod B. They they can't do what restream and everything else do. But I just read that to you. What? You wait, wait a minute. Derek Eagleton is kind of like the boss. This is his department. I wish I knew how many people worked in that department. I I I, I wish I knew. How in the world? All those people that saw the video, look, even if it was just two people, that's four sets, of, I mean, four eyes. And if you wear glasses, it's six. My God, listen, what? Nobody noticed that one on the video, man. How are you trying to insult I tell you, it was an oversight. No, no, man, no, 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 no. There wasn't no oversight. It was done on purpose. And then to further insult the intelligence, he comes in that last sentence and say, trust me, there's no story here. Oh, really? Well, tell ESPN that. Huh? Tell, tell Fox that. Because, see, I watched the TV today, and that's all I heard. That's all I, that, that, that's all I heard. Like, uh, uh, everybody was talking about this, and, and he says there's no story here. What? No story? Huh? Trying to tell the fan best, there's, there's no story here. How you going to miss this? How you going to miss the obvious? I, I, I don't get the... The 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 blatant as 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 some of my, my people are already saying. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. I I I don't I don't get it. So, not only did ESPN see it, but Tad Prescott, Dak Prescott's brother, saw it. And he just simply put out a tweet that said, "Y'all, y'all looking at me." He just had his had his little cartoon character and doing this right here, like really, okay. So he heard about it, he saw it, but I got real excited, y'all. I got so excited because for the first time in three years. Dak Prescott finally did something and said something. And he did it. He did it. I was very excited. Y'all want to know what he said? There it is on your screen. I hope you can see that. I wish I could make it a little bit bigger, but it would have taken out that bottom part. Y'all can see it though right there. Dak Prescott. Once the once Dak Prescott saw the video, a couple minutes later, Dak Prescott, for the first time, finally stepped up and on his Instagram page, it says Dak Prescott started following the Washington football team. And for the first time, I stood up and applauded. Because Dex kind of said, I'm so disrespected, I can't even get in the hype video. I tell you what, 
I'll tell you what. Let me just go on and put a little salt in the game here. Let me let me let me let me throw a little sizzle in this soap opera we got. Let me let me change things up a little bit. I, I, I don't let my brother talk. I don't let I don't let ESPN analysts talk. Let me go ahead and say it for myself. He just said I'm following the Washington football team. Washington fans got happy. Start making put putting Dak's face in a Washington uh, uniform. Uh, look, e- everybody starts saying, what? Dak Prescott follows the biggest rival that the Dallas Cowboys had. I was so happy because it's about time he done got in the game. I'm tired of hearing Dak Tad Prescott. I'm tired of hearing all the analysts try to stick up for him. I was finally glad that this man finally did something. I was so happy. I, I, I was so grateful. I said, okay, now, now we playing a little chess. We playing a little chess now. We finally got somebody across from him. From him. Huh? I see you, Glenn. Oversight. Jerry oversaw it and said, no Dak, LOL. Yeah. Yeah, but Dak got into the game. He got into it. And he made a stance by saying, I'm following Washington. Why Washington? Because, you know, Alex Smith is there, but please understand, if Dak Prescott went to Washington, he's your starter. Washington would take Dak quick. And and, and he put it out there. Whether he believed it or not, he just did something that he was supposed to do. He stepped up. I was happy, y'all. But then, just like a hot balloon going in there, somebody put a pin in it, and I came crashing down. You know what happened? Dak Prescott, who made the stand, came right back after everybody showed what Dak did. He erased it. And I said to myself, dude, when you take a stand, dig your heels into the ground and stand. Don't give, don't let the people know how it, how ticked off you are. Let the people know. Don't draw it back. You don't put your chips to the table now. Why are you going to take the chips and bring it back to you? What? No, he turned, he turned to a rent. Look, for a moment, what for a moment he turned into a renegade. And then in the, and a couple minutes later, once everybody started showing that Dak Prescott followed Washington, he went back and then erased it. See, people, this is why Dak is getting ran over. This that, that that's the reason why. See, that's what I was telling y'all. I, I I get Jerry. Jerry gonna do what he gotta do, but Dak Dak is is, is, is so uh he's so worried about his image that he's actually I ain't saying he hurting himself because Dak is gonna get paid one way or the other. Okay, Dak is going to get paid. Either Dallas is going to give him the franchise tag, and then, hey, look, he'll make $38 million a year, and after that tag, he'll be gone because they're not going to pay him 50. That'll be the franchise tag for a third year. They're not going to pay him that. So it'll be his last year in Dallas, or he's going to get his long-term deal. So Dak is going to be all right. One, You know, let, let, let's not do it. But you got to stand your ground, man. And Dak hurt me just that summer. So I said, okay. You you got into the game, and then you gave the game right back to him. So now you you we when you did it first, we moved from step one to about step four or five because what it did by saying you were following Washington, what it did it told the organization number one you got ticked off because you weren't in the video, and then you got ticked off because in some instances you felt disrespected. And for the first time, that's the way you they would have had to interpret it. But then you erased it. 
So we went back to square one. And I'm trying to figure out, man, look, I'm sorry, when I see you. The same, the same post that you saw earlier. Uh, it was another something that he did. He erased it. I'm sorry. Uh, Gary said, if I was Dak, I would leave regardless. I wouldn't want to play for a team that doesn't value me and disrespect me as a man. But here it is, Gary. I would agree with you. So the way that we look at that is real simple. Cowboys got until, what, July to sign them to a long-term deal. Keep in mind that they at the first deadline, I think, is uh, March uh, 9th or something, whatever it is. They, if, if they do franchise him, they got until, I think, June or July to sign him to a long-term deal. So, as I said so many times before, I believe, Gary, that they're going to franchise him and then say, hey, we got time. We're going to get it worked. Same mess they were talking about last year. We got time. We're going to work it out. He'll be a cowboy for life, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to have to see. But he's going to probably get franchised again because Dak is, is, is sold on this four-year deal. And as I told you guys before, the reason why he wants the four-year deal is simple. And I don't blame Dak for this. The TV deal is going out. The TV deal is going away. Yes, when he can say no, he can say no, he's not signing, but the Cowboys have the rights. He can't play. Well, no, I'm sorry. If he says no, they can they can let him walk. He he can go. He's a he'll be a free agent. Am I right about that? Gary help me. Am I right about that? No, I, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong on that. If he does not sign it, then he just sits out because the Cowboys have the rights on him. So he can't he can't leave. So he can't leave. So it's either he going to play or he going to sit out the year. You know, that's that's where he is. Uh, after this season is over with, if they franchise him, you, even though he hadn't signed the contract, nobody else can. That's That's the way that it goes. If they put the tag on him, nobody else can get him. So he he doesn't have too many options. He's either going to play or he's going to sit out. But he has to sign. But if he sits out without signing that contract, he don't get the money. Matt says, I don't I I'm not sure about that, Matt. Matt says oh, they can agree to part ways, I believe. I, I don't I don't think I I now that I may be wrong. I just don't think that that is the case. Hello to everybody on Podbean. I'm sorry. I'm just checking some of you guys out. Big Life, uh, 135, uh, Let's on Fire, and Naylan. Hello. If I miss anybody else, I see Miss Ty's on there, uh, one of my patrons. Uh, hello to everybody. So, and I'm watching you. I'm watching your uh, your comments on Podbean. Yeah. Uh, Garrett, that, I believe that's that's what it is. He has to play if they exclusive tag him. Well, I think the real thing is said that he he only can play with the Cowboys. That's it. He can't go nowhere else. Hello, Tamara. Uh, I've never seen you before, but welcome to the show. She says uh, Dak probably should go because he is not respected by Jerry or some of the fans. I I mean I think that's the the central message, Tamara. You're absolutely correct. Uh, we but I, I I'm starting to believe. That Dak, I mean, I believe we we feel worse than Dak do. And, and I understand because he got his money, but, you know, I, I'm sorry. If if I'm disrespected, I'm just talking about me. I can't speak for nobody else. You don't get too many times to disrespect me. I'm just saying. I'm going to say something. I ain't talking about for fighting and all. I'm too old to fight now. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> I, I, I'm too, I'm too old, I, but but I'm not gonna let you just blatantly disrespect me. I'm gonna say I I got to say something. That's the way I feel about it. Tamara says, "Hey, Tamara, I, oh let me, oh 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 oh." Uh, Tamara says, "Not if they put the exclusive tag on them." Well, uh, exactly. I, 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 as soon as, and see, Dak has let things, because he's under the assumption 
that it, that things are just going to be taken care of because maybe he thinks his resume, which which is good, thinks his resume is enough. And while you thinking that, the the ownership is thinking something totally different. It's not enough. You think it because Dak thinking, look, I was offensive rookie of the year. I've been a two-time Pro Bowler. I'm getting better every year. I'm getting better every year. This this is Dak's resume. No, Everybody knows it. I've proven that I can win a lot of games. I've proven I can throw for a lot of yards. And I don't think that this should really even be a discussion. I think that y'all should just call me in and have a contract ready. And I'm just going to sign the paper. Meanwhile, meanwhile, on the other side of the coin, the Jones family saying this. Yeah, he uh he been to the Pro Bowl. You know, he offensive rookie of the year. But, see, see when it comes to negotiation, that's when the buts start coming into play. You know, yeah, you, you was offensive rookie of the year. But you had Ozzie Elliott. You had a real good defense. Uh, you threw for a lot of yards, but you know they. You know you had you had you had Mark Cooper. You had you had uh, you had uh, Gallup. You had you know you throwing sh- you throw short passes. You know you dinging the you but you don't throw the ball down the field. But you don't throw the deep ball well. But but this. Uh, uh, now, now, now the now the, the conversation has changed. Yeah, you got a lot. You was on your way, man. Woo! You was on your way. Them first four games, man. You was, my God, look like you gonna try to throw for six thousand yards, but you got hurt. And, and we got to factor in now. We have to factor in now that your that your ankle's been broken. Can you come back? Can you? stand can you move can you do that and 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 we we don't we're not sure see all that coming to play now you know we we we, we understand i'm talking about the jones now we understand that you are a a great locker room guy we understand that you have great intangibles we we understand that you are a great uh, uh a great leader for this team uh, uh okay Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wynn. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bishop Gary isn't getting my questions. If he's franchised, it's only for 21, right? Yeah, franchise tags only go year to year. Year to year. Franchise tags only go from year to year. So uh, this year, if he signs it, if they franchise him, it'd be $38 million, uh, for one year, just like it was 31 or whatever it was, 34 uh, for this year. Uh, so uh, he... He's in a position to get paid. We that's that's not the issue. The issue is, look, has he done enough for you to say, hey, we're going to invest in you because we believe that you are our guy? Gary is under the same opinion as I am. And that is we don't believe that the Jones family believe in that fully. Now he says we don't believe in him. I've always said they don't believe in him fully. When I say that, it goes back to what I just said earlier. I believe they 100% believe he's a great leader. I believe that part. They believe it. I also believe uh, that they believe in his intangible. I believe they 100%. But I don't believe that they really do believe that Dak can lead them to a Super Bowl. I don't think they think Dak is that guy. That's what, and which is the reason why we got three years worth of waiting for a long term contract with Dak. Now I say we got to see just a little bit more. We need to see just a little bit more. Man, throw throw thousand yards. We got to see a little bit more. He was on his way throwing uh throwing some more. Class A pool say football. Let's talk about the chili. Let's have a good day. <laughs> Class one pro. I see you, man. So. It, 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 it's amazing to me how in the world this guy can't do enough. What else do we got to do? I guess I look if 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 the goal is he got to win the Super Bowl, it, it's too hard to do that. Okay, 
It's plenty of great quarterbacks that haven't won the Super Bowl. Gary, you're absolutely right. The way that man was playing, it looked like he was on his way to 6,000. Let me go back to Tamara because you asked something out this way. She asked, so why is their loyalty to Dak totally different from their loyalty to Romo? Oh, my goodness. We'll be all day on that. Uh, Tamara, well, let's, 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 uh, since it's your first time, I think it's your first time on the show. Let's look back at what I said in previous shows. When, 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 um, when Tony got his, his contract, he didn't have to fight for it at all. It was given. He didn't have to, he didn't have to fight. Uh, and when he got it, listen to me, this is what Jerry Jones said. He said that we believe, keyword, we believe, that sound like management, that Tony Romo can lead us to a Super Bowl championship. Okay? That's what he said about Romo. In contrast, this is what he says about Dak. He says that we believe Dak can win us games. See the difference right there? You didn't say we don't believe, we believe that Dak can win a Super Bowl. You didn't say that. You just say he can win games. But Romo, you can win the Super Bowl. That's your that right that statement right there sums it all up. And Romo had it was kind of like a son to him, to be honest with you. So there was a personal relationship. And many people have said that Dak don't have that type of relationship with Jerry Jones. And that's nothing wrong with that because most players a night tight like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh exactly, Tamara. That exactly. He didn't have to fight. Cause but but the reason why he didn't have to fight Tamara was because they believed in Romo. They believed in him. That's why he got it. See, when you believe, look, we ain't got to go to Romo. We just stick with the team, Tamara. Uh when it says. Romo big for a playoff with, with a playoff with Dak. Nope. <laughs> but but Tamara, check it out. We don't have to look for Romo. Let me show you. Let's just stick with this team. You believed in Demarcus Lawrence. What did you do? You paid him. You believed in Ezekiel Elliott. What did you do? They paid him. They believed in Lyle Collins, the right offensive tackle. What they do? They paid him. They believed in Jalen Smith. What they do? They, they want no fighting. They heard they brought him in. Come on, look. We want to go ahead and extend you. We want to go ahead and offer you this contract and make you a cowboy for the next God on. They paid them guys. They didn't have to. Zach Martin didn't have to, to beg for nothing. Huh? They they believed in Zach. That's why they invested in him. They believed years back in Tyron Smith. They believed in him. That's why they gave him the money. When it comes to Dak, though, well, yeah, you see what's going on. Hey, Joanna, nice to see you on Pod Bean. So, if you don't believe, look, see in this game here, talking don't mean nothing. Your actions mean something. You can talk all day about we we love Dak. See, that's what you hear when you hear Jerry and Steven talk on 1053, the fan. They love to say, hey, we love Dak. We love Dak. We, 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 well, I tell you, he's he, he's, a, he's a great guy. He, he we, He's a great leader. We, we hear all that. Show him. Show him. I see you, Gary. I'm coming to you. Tamara says, well, if they don't believe in that, let them go so he can go somewhere where they will believe in him. Uh, that's exactly what Gary said. I'm in agree. I'm in agreement uh, with him. Dak wants to be a cowboy. Gary makes a point that is is theory that nobody will admit. Nobody won't admit that whether it's true or not. It just depends on what you believe. But he says that they don't. They don't want a black franchise quarterback. You know, hey, that that that's that that would never be identified because oh, they know what it would mean if if you know if you said something like that or you hinted toward that, 
They, they is nobody. So, uh, I, I saw a show last night with a uh, West Coast and uh, and Boss Cowboy, uh, where they had Quincy Carter on there, uh, former quarterback of the Cowboy, and 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 you would have to just listen to Quincy because see he lived it. You see what I'm saying? It's hard to argue with somebody when they have lived it. And Quincy lived it. He was the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And you just had to listen to him and see what he had said. Uh, and he didn't say it as blatant as Gary. But, you know, you can read in between the lines and see what people are saying. And it's not – and and he lived it. Uh, and, and I – I just don't I just don't say I just simply believe if you ask me, I just believe that they don't believe in this man fully because the the pattern of the cowboys says that when they believe in you, they pay you. Look at Amari Cooper last year. Come on now. Amari Cooper put up them numbers and and said, look, Philadelphia, I'm I'm thinking about going for an interview. With Philadelphia. What did Jerry do? Hurry up and got that checkbook out. Paid him a five year, $100 million contract, $20 million a year. When they believe in you, they pay you. I mean, that, I, I, that's that's all I see. I don't see. I don't see the same urgency. Let me just say that. Yeah, let me just say it like that. I don't see the same urgency that I saw. With uh with everybody else. Wendy says, <laughs> Wendy says, I just believe in Grandboy coming over the Razorback. His son plays exactly. His grandson plays with Arkansas. He's a quarterback. You know, and every and there's a lot of people believe that that's gonna happen one day. I I can't I can't say it. I don't know. I, I mean I. It 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 is is it, it does make sense though. You know, bring your son over to be the quarterback. I I can see that, but when it comes to this this stuff here, all you have to do is look on the team. We don't have to go back to Romo and you know Demarcus Ware and all all these guys. We just look at this team that we got right now and see. Exactly, it was watching. I'm sorry, you're absolutely right, Tamara. Exactly, I thank you for that. It was Washington, not Philly. I'm sorry. Absolutely right. They wanted him. Jerry Herbin paid him. Gary said when Cap kneeled the next day, Jerry said no Cowboys kneeling. When Black Lives Matter movement started, he was in, in missing in action. Well, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, look. I'm just going to say it like this. The evidence is there. Now, how you interpret the evidence, that's on you. But the evidence is there. You can have one set of evidence here, and, and one person going to interpret it this way, one person going to interpret it that way. What Gary is, is interpreting when he said that, I'm not fit to argue that at all. Because nobody, nobody ain't going to just flat out come out and say it. But you got to read in between the lines of what Jerry said. Jerry said, ain't nobody kneeling here. And you know that half, more than half his team was black. That Those are facts. That's, that's not innuendo. More than half, it was way more than half, of his team was black. He hurried up and made the statement. What did he say, y'all? What did, what did y'all remember? He said, toes on the line, hand over the heart, and anybody. That Neils, he said they would not be a Dallas Cowboy. That's what he, that hey, that's what Jerry Jones said. That's what Jerry said. Now y'all 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 remember it? Y'all I and, and in that line, you can go ahead and start interpreting your 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 thinking process of what that really means. Wendy says, why do you think there's two snipers at every game? Uh-huh. Yeah. Jerry was raised in those days, so I don't didn't expect anything from him. But the player said he spoke with the team behind the scene. Well, he also, I, I agree with you, he did that. But he also put that caveat out there. 
You know, sometimes people lo love to talk through the media and put out that dare there. So, you know, I I'm not going to say fear, but at the same time, I'm quite sure that there were some black guys on that team that wanted to take a knee. I, I'm quite sure. I, I believe that. I, I believe that. But they didn't. Poe, the only one kneeled, but hell, he was kneeling in the game too, not to do nothing exactly. And here's the other thing. Poe gone. Okay? <laughs> now, y'all can say he was fat and out of shape and everything else, which may be 100 be uh 100 true, but but also po po Neil. Okay, remember the rule with Jerry saying now this go back to last year. He said this year he went back. He said you know this year he kind of he uh uh he uh Jerry loves to be shocking when he says can I say this? This is a big time show. Everybody can say whatever they want to say, Wendy. You know that. Uh, it, it's it's it, 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 it's it's mind boggling to me. Gary has a nice theory when he said that. Is it true? Jerry's the only one that can answer it, and he ain't gonna dare say nothing. Wendy said, "I just learned about the kneeling last season." Well, that's okay. You just learned. You may have saw it, but you just learned. It's okay. Uh, many people know about the, the lesson, but they still don't believe in it. Uh, they still don't understand. Uh, they'll say, "Well, don't you can kneel all you want, but don't use, uh, don't don't use the national anthem as your platform." Okay, so what the NFL do this year just to prove my point? See, you don't have to say racial things, and I don't know why we're why I'm changing the tone of this, but I guess since I'm here, I might as well stay here. I believe Wendy be trying to set me up uh, to start talking about this, but it, it's all good. But here it is. Just to show you the point, what the NFL do this year, okay? The NFL said, we understand the social injustice that's going on. What we're going to do this year simply is we're going to play the, the, the quote-unquote black national anthem at the beginning, and then we're going to play the national anthem. The, the black national anthem does not have to be uh, televised. The national anthem really doesn't have to be televised either, but you didn't see except the Super Bowl and then maybe the first game of the year where you heard lift every voice and sing. You heard that. You heard it at the Super Bowl. Then they played the national anthem. Now, just to go to show you what problem, what it was, I saw folks on social media and from Instagram, Facebook, saying, why are they showing lift every voice and sing? Why are they doing that? This is a waste of time. See, you don't have to say things, certain words and stuff to show where you stand when it comes to racist type issues. You can just say something just like that. Why are they playing? Why are they showing that? I'm tired of this. Can we just go ahead and just play? But when the national anthem was played, you didn't say nothing. See? You don't have to say certain words or certain phrases to show that you're racist. You can, you can, you can just say some stuff like that. But anyway, let me get back to what I'm saying. All right, Wendy, you trying to you, you trying to get me in trouble? I know what you're doing. Get it out. I support everything you say. I hand it my ignorant racism to to you. Then I laid at your feet, Bishop. My life is plain better. I appreciate that compliment, Wendy. Uh, me and Wendy have had, for those that don't know, me and Wendy have had, I guess, some uh, uh, talks, you know, about racism and all that. And she uh, she kind of, she understands a little bit better now. And she's one of the rare people that say, hey, I wrong. I understand now. I'm changing and all that. So I appreciate that, Wendy. Uh, but anyway, is that into the deck situation? We'll never know. Love you too, Wendy. We'll, ne we'll never know. We'll never know because there nobody will admit it. But but here it is. In fairness to Jerry, I guess I could get a little fair. I, I told you guys this the other day. We got to be have a little fairness to Jerry Jones, okay? We have to make a little – we got to be a little fair. Here it is. Number one, 
there is no set salary cap yet. Now, I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I, I got to give y'all the truth. The The salary cap has not been set, so it it, it would be f- kind of wrong for you to be making aggressive moves when you don't even know how much room you really got. Okay? So let, let's be a little fair to Jerry on that end. I get that. Number two, and most importantly, here we go. This is Jerry Jones' money, right? Exactly. Because of COVID. You're absolutely right. What's up? What's up, Gary? I see you, man. So so the sound, we got to, we, I know we mad about Dak. I know I, I'm with you. I'm 100% on Dak's side in this. I know I understand that, but we got to be a little fair. We just can't be so emotional that we don't, uh, you know, recognize the truth from both sides. Jerry, you have to, it's, it's, it's really business. You don't step out. Uh, Gary says, Gary says, uh, that TV day is going to make the salary cap explode and they know it. It's no question about it. But even in that, Gary is 100% right in what he said. But even in that, you don't know that the bottom line deal that you're going to have to have. And you don't know how that is going to, to, to react. If the TV deal gets done and everybody knows the owners got a whole lot of money off the TV deal, then every player is going to ask for a little bit more. So where are we at with that? We, we know bottom line, the starting price, is whatever the franchise tag is. So we're talking about 38. Dak ain't asking for no $37 million. Dak is asking for 38. I'm going to get $38 million automatic if I just sign this franchise tag. That's the starting price. If the TV deal gets set and you get a couple more, Dak is going to probably be asking for $40 million, and rightfully so. Okay? Here's another one. I'm saying this. The TV deal don't have to get done. Why? Because the Baltimore Ravens and the Buffalo Bills have said, we are going to take care of Lamar Jackson this offseason. We also, by Buffalo said, we're going to take care of Josh Allen this season, this offseason. If that is the case, you already know the price tag going up even more. You know that. What y'all think Lamar Jackson gonna get? Come on now. If if if, if I mean, come on. We we already know forty plus forty, minimum forty. And if that's the case, who we, it, both of them don't have to get done. All it's gonna take is one. All it's gonna take is just one one of those guys to sign the deal. And they, and Buffalo is gonna give Josh Allen whatever he wants. And thank you, thank you, bro, Gary. There's another name that's ready to come up. Baker Mayfield. Cleveland gonna give Baker Mayfield. Look, they already you see it on the commercials. They already gave him the stadium. <laughs> he got keys to the stadium. Y'all seen in the commercial? All it's gonna take one of those three to sign a deal, and the price tag is gonna go up. And Dak is better than Baker Mayfield. You let Baker Mayfield get a deal before Dak and watch what's going to happen. Dak is in the drive. Dak is in the driver's seat, man. Dak, I'm saying Dak is – look, if the Cowboys don't pay it, Gary says it right. The price tag between them three, all three of them guys at one point, they will be – the highest paid quarterback in the league. Whoever signed first, they're going to be the highest paid quarterback in the league. Whoever come up next, they're going to take over that person. Then he'll go, whoever the third of that, they're going to take over that person. And when it's all said and done, like Gary said, that's going to be the star price. Y'all see it? 44, 42 to 44, and it might be 45. When it says this year they had best uh, – to do best of last 30 years Super Bowl commercial for all those cut out people in the stand. Ha! That's right. So, so if I were the cow, if look, 
if, and this is a big if, if they really talking about doing long term with that, it behooves them to hurry up and get it done quickly before Lamar gets done or Josh Allen or Baker Mayfield gets done. If one of them get a deal before Dak, Dak ain't the Dak is gonna sit back like, really? Are you paying Baker Mayfield $40 million? $38 million? I mean, 39? Really? I'm better than Baker Mayfield. Josh, okay, some of y'all think Josh Josh Allen ain't done enough yet to be talking about he better than Dak. I know he had one good year. Nick Foles had one good year. But Nick Foles ain't better than Dak Prescott. See what I'm saying? I don't care nothing about the one year. Give me a give me a couple years on your resume. Then let's see where you at. And I'm not saying that 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 uh Josh Allen is not gonna be the man. He he he's gonna be the man. No question about it. But I got to see it first. Okay? So I, I'm going there. If we if we talking about Lamar, however, well, Lamar, Lamar, uh, to be honest with you. Lamar has, uh, uh, um, he's a better athlete than Dak, no question. Uh, he can kill you with his legs, but let's just be truthful. Lamar Jackson can't throw the ball as well as, as Dak Prescott. People want Lamar Jackson to throw the ball because he's not that great at it. But Baltimore is going to give him whatever he wants. Why? Because they believe. That that word is again. They believe in Lamar Jackson, and they're going to pay him as such. They're going to pay Josh Allen like he's like he's a 10-year veteran. They're going to pay him that, okay? He, he is not – exactly. I, I You know, if you're telling me a, a better all-around athlete, I'm going to give the nod to, to Lamar. Athlete? Yeah, Lamar can run for over a thousand yards. I, I mean, I, Dak ain't running for no thousand yards. I, I, I get you that. But if you telling me drop back throwing, Dak Prescott kills him. So I mean, it, it's a quarterback. It, it's not an athlete, okay? I, and Dak can run. He just can't run better than Lamar. I get you that. But as far as everything else. Dak Prescott is better. So Dak can be coming to the table saying exactly what I'm saying. Since everything is so technical and you have to go ahead and say everything like that. Yeah. Gary says something tremendous right here. Gary said you pay for belief because nothing is guaranteed. You're paying for a projection. Based off, based off what you've done, we project that you're going to do this in these years that we give you. And we believe you're going to get better. We project that. That's how they're getting paid. Not for what they've done. It's what you're projecting them to be. And I just don't understand why they're not seeing what everybody else is seeing. Yeah. Wendy said, Dak is, is a big man for a quarterback. Exactly. Him and Josh Allen are kind of similar. Josh run the ball a little bit more than Dak, but they're kind of similar as far as running goes. Dak can kill you with his legs, but he's just not Lamar. But Lamar ain't better than Dak. And somebody's going to say, man, you crazy. Lamar was the MVP of the league. Yeah, you're going to be the MVP of the league if you done thrown for 3,000 yards and done rush for over 1,000 yards running the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, got a great defense in Baltimore. Yeah, I I understand that he was the MVP. I'm not taking nothing from Lamar. He he he's dangerous, no question about that. But he's not better than that. He's not. Exactly. He told Dak not to run when he said. Okay, listen. This is what Dak can come to the table with. This is what Dak can throw. This is what Dak can 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 say uh, leading there. Let me let me make this read real quick, guys. Let me make this read, and then I'll come right back to it. I know this is getting hot in here. Listen, <laughs> listen. Uh, the fragrance shop. 
the fragrance shop in Memphis, you got to go there. Somebody, look, I'm telling you guys, this is my fraternity brother. I'm telling you guys, this is the place you need to go. Type in the fragrance shop in Memphis uh, on Facebook. They have every fragrance that you can have. And right now is the perfect time. Get these fragrances, uh, these perfumes and these fragrances that he has. Bond number nine, Creed, Tom Ford, whatever you want is there. And I promise you need to do it because here comes Valentine's Day. You got a little time left. If you're living out of town, it can be shipped to you. But go to the fragrance shop in Memphis. Get something that's lasting other than those dead roses that's going to be dead in two days. I don't care how much water you put on it. They're going to die. <laughs> you know it's going to die. Get something that's going to last a while. Go to the fragrance shop Memphis uh, near email. is fragrance shop Memphis at gmail.com. Go there as soon as you can. Listen, I'm seeing all this. See, but see, this is what I'm having a problem with, y'all, overall, because everybody is saying it. Gary says legs, won the MVP, not his arm. You see what Tennessee did to him that same year in the playoffs, made him look like a high school quarterback. Exactly. We all know that's the reason why he won the MVP. But see, this is what I'm saying. Lamar don't have to say, look, check it out, y'all. Josh Allen. Okay, look, Josh Allen, let's just use those three quarterbacks. Josh Allen does not have to prove his resume to Buffalo. In the short period of time, they already know this is our guy for the next 10 to 12 years. He don't have to do nothing else. That's what Buffalo is saying. We know, have he won division? He won one division championship. And many will say the only reason why he won is because Brady left New England. It took Brady leaving for finally for somebody else to win. Buffalo won this year. Okay. that He got one division championship. He made his first Pro Bowl this year. That's what his resume says. Buffalo said we ain't got to see enough. We, we don't have to see nothing else. We, made, we, we, we believe you the guy. We don't want to find out nothing else. Okay. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield finally, after 20 some odd years or whatever, finally made the playoffs for the Cleveland Browns. Many will argue to say that the reason why Baker Mayfield made the playoffs is because they got Nick Chubb, the running back. They got Kareem Hunt, the running back. And they ran the ball. And they made a running game. And, and Baker Mayfield, all he had to do was be a game manager. But because of that, the Cleveland Browns went to the playoffs. So they done made it, and they had a good defense. So they done made the decision. Baker, they saying, look, we don't have to look for nothing else. This kid was the number one pick in the draft. We not, we not, we not. Look, what does Baker Mayfield have on his resume? No Pro Bowls. Okay. No division championship because they didn't win the division this year. Okay? Nothing on his resume. Nothing. They made a decision and said, look, we're going to we, we gonna take care of this guy. Okay? Lamar Jackson. As I said before, hey, dynamic, electric football player. You know, can't take it away from him. He can gut you. Got an MVP on his record. Has a div- two division championships. Going to the going to the playoff every year. Baltimore is going to the playoffs every year. Consistent quarterback. But you ain't won nothing. When a team locks down on you in the playoffs, as my, my, my buddy says, Gary says, my brother says here, he says, look, hey, Look, that when the team locked down on you, take that his running away and make him throw the ball, he ain't worth a dime. That's what Gary's saying. He ain't worth a dime then. Okay? But Baltimore has paid him. What does Lamar have on his, his resume? Uh, Lamar has one MVP. I think he made – did he make the Pro Bowl this year? Was he a Pro Bowler this year? Ah, uh, it was Allen. Did Tannehill make it? 
I, I I'm sorry, I don't know that. I I this is all off the top of my head. I know Josh Allen was a Pro Bowler this year. I know Mahomes, of course, was a Pro Bowler. You only get three quarterbacks. I don't know if Lamar was the third quarterback this year, or was it Tannehill? I don't know. But anyway, based off that little resume, they say, "Hey, we ready to go all in on you." Then here comes Dak. Dak has been offensive rigger of the year. Two-time Pro Bowler, getting better every year, has won. It was Tannehill. Thank you, Gary. So Lamar didn't even make the Pro Bowl this year. I mean, come on now. You went from MVP and didn't even make the Pro Bowl this year. And I know he was – was he hurt? I mean, it don't make no difference. He didn't make it. Then you get to that, who's been a Pro Bowl every year, hadn't missed a game until this year. Two-time Pro Bowler. Won the division, just like them three. And for some reason, he the only one out of the group, but the most stable out of the group, that got to prove himself. And it, 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 it is just mind-boggling to me, y'all. I mean, I know I'm sounding almost repetitive, uh, but but it, it, it's mind-boggling to me how did this, this, this soap opera is still showing up. I need that. For those that join me just a little bit later, I need that to make up his mind. Either he going to be ticked off or he going to be uh, complacent. Don't jump out there like you ticked off saying we're going to follow Washington and, and all that. Then all of a sudden take it back. No, dog. Make up your mind which one you want to be. Because it is also proven. That when guys get a little ticked off, Jerry Jones hurry up and calm things down by going in and paying them. Long as you keep giving these guys inches, they're gonna take the miles. That's what we're seeing with that. That's what we're constantly seeing. That's 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 all I can I I, I can I can say. I, I don't like the I don't like the 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 back and forth. You can't sit in the middle. Of this, you can't you can't balance yourself in the middle. You got to pick one side or the other. I need Dak to go in and pick a side. If you want to be complacent, stay stay on the sideline. Let them do you like they do you. Hey, we fans, we'll try to speak up for you. But don't jump out in the middle of the street and get all the fans say, "Whoa!" Like me, like whoa, Dak said something. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Come on. I'm, I'm, let's go to the middle. Let's get off the side. Yes, say something. Then all of a sudden he take it back, and now I'm stuck here in the middle. I, I, now, now, now I'm, I'm, you went back to the sideline, and now I'm stuck here in the middle. I, 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 I can't do. It. I can't. I can't do that. So I, his brother. There's it, no question what his brother said. His brother is the dog. His brother lets it be known, and he stand on his ground. I need I need Dak to act like his brother. You know, if you're going to jump out there, stay out there. Let everybody know this is not what I want to do. It's, look, there's nothing wrong with Dak. Dak played on a franchise tag last year and broke his leg or broke his ankle. There's nothing wrong with Dak saying this. I played on a franchise tag last year. It does not leave me any stability in the future. I got hurt, and the next time I get hurt, I do not know if it would be a career-ending injury. I want a long-term deal. Who would have a problem with that? I mean, huh? Don't let folks assume what you want. Don't let don't no 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 no. It's nothing wrong with him saying I don't want to be on a long term deal. I already got hurt. You know I already got hurt on a franchise tag. It's not a good feeling. I I, I want a long term deal. Yeah, yeah. And and if that's the case, and if Dallas don't want to do it, have the calm and decent. Hey. Go on, start over. But I'm, I'm going. Go, I'm, I'm. I'm saying this. Then Jerry got another whole dilemma. He got to deal with this fan base. 
Because, see, he paid all these guys, the Coopers, the DeMarcus Lawrence, the Jalen Smiths, the, the Zach Martin. He paid all these guys because he knows that the window is closing. You didn't pay these guys this type of money just to, you know, just to struggle. You He paid these guys because it's time to win. And you ain't going to win with Andy Dalton. I'm sorry. You're not going to win with Garrett Gilbert. You got a better chance to win with Dak Prescott. So if you let Dak walk, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Say, hey, we're going to be fine. Just say we're getting ready to rebuild. That, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Garrett says this. Garrett said, let me get back to Garrett first. Garrett says if Dak say that, J.J. will string him out longer. He can string him out all he want to. Week one is coming up. You ain't got no choice. Dak has the leverage. It just depends on how he want to play this thing. Now, we really don't know what Dak. Maybe Dak want to do it like Kirk Cousins. Maybe he just want to get paid them, them strong good two years. You know, if he takes the 38 this year, that'll be right at over $70 million in two years. I mean, I mean, we can't argue that. Yeah. Matthews brings up another interesting thing. Uh, let me go back to Gary. I'm sorry. Gary says, I don't understand why he's the only one designated to take a discount. Exactly. That's what we're saying. We don't we don't know why either. Why he the last on the list. And then uh Jerry can't do anything after this year. Exactly. Because he's not gonna pay him that third franchise tag. Uh Matthew says this. Matthew says, I said this on your show before, and I'll say it again. This year, I think there will be a big blockbuster trade to do with someone on the team. Well, if you're talking blockbuster, uh, it's only just a couple people that will fit into it right now, and that's Dak. And maybe, uh, I mean, it's really just that to get the kind of compensation to come back to you. Dak right now is the only one that can bring some real compensation to you. They wouldn't do Cooper like that because it ain't going to be too many teams that are going to take on Cooper's contract. That's $20 million a year for a wide receiver. It's, 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 it's not too many going to do that. Zach Martin, I see you, Gary. Gary, Gary says the Dak and Zach Martin, those, those may be the only two that can bring you back, you know, some real compensation. And I don't think they trade Zach. Zach Martin will probably will retire Dallas Cowboy. I believe that. Exactly, Gary. Gary says uh, too much dead space. Matthew says Smith. Which Smith, uh, Matt, are you talking to Jalen or Ty Tyron? Are you talking Jalen or Tyron? Uh, Jalen not going to bring you back a lot of compensation. I can tell you that right now. And Tyron Smith definitely is not going to bring you back the kind of compensation that you that you really want. There's only two players on this team that can, can, can demand a lot, a boatload. Tyron now. Tyron too old. And Tyron stay hurt too much. Teams ain't going to, you know, teams ain't going to. They'll, they'll take them, but it. They it's team that will trade for him. Yes, I agree with you, Matt. But the kind of compensation that we talking about uh is you know, if you trade Dag now, you gonna get you gonna get a boatload of picks back. If you trade Zach Martin, you would get a whole bunch of picks left. Now they're not gonna trade Zach. So I guess the really the only person is that. Uh but you know, it gotta be a sign trade. Exactly. Uh Gary's on the same page as I am. Lay around at most for probably you talk probably talking about Tyron Smith. See, if you would say it maybe about three, four years, three years ago, then I'd give you Tyron Smith, but you know, he stay hurt too much. You ain't gonna get too much. Uh Gary said we can get two first for that. I believe that's I believe, you know. 
the right team will, will give you that for Dak Prescott. I I I I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. I believe that Dak Prescott can get you two first round picks. Cause see, quarterbacks don't grow on trees. And contrary to what a lot of cowboy uh haters say, and even some some cowboy fans, Dak Prescott is a top 10 quarterback in this league. Some would argue and say he's a top five. So those type of guys don't grow on trees. If it was that easy to find a franchise quarterback, everybody would have one. They did the, the guys, they they did some of these guys are just flat out just better than others. So you can't you can't say that. Gary says he think we can get three first round picks for that. And uh Gary, and again, Gary Bryan says Jalen Smith, you only get about a fifth round draft pick back. So Jalen Jalen is not Jalen is uh you know he can't bring that back. Uh I'm not understanding Gary said I'm not understanding why they don't remember what it was like after Aikman retired. Uh the they understand it. They just want things their way. Okay? That's what the problem is. But when you got good players, I mean when you got Pro Bowl players. Just about everywhere on every level of your team, you got to pay for those guys, and you can't have it your way. If these guys are, you know what I'm saying, top five at their position, you gonna have to pay the price. I mean, let's go through it. Dak probably is a top top eight quarterback. Those guys cost. Mark Cooper, top what? Eight wide receiver, maybe top ten, probably. You got to pay for that. Zach Martin, best guard in the league. If he the best guard in the league, you got to pay for it. Uh, defensively, at one point in time, Demarcus Lawrence was the reason why he got paid like he got paid because at that point in time, he was one of the top three or four. Edge rushers in the whole game. Those guys get paid because they game changers. You had to pay him. Uh, I mean, these guys got to, you know, you you can't you can't cheap your way unless everybody willing to do it. You know, everybody not like Tom Brady. Tom Brady could have been the the the, the, the highest paid quarterback for the last ten years, but he took pay cuts. To try to help the team. That Prescott may not be like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Ben Roethlisberger, if y'all seen the Steelers, they saying, look, we can't pay you no $41 million, man. You got to take a pay cut. If not, we, you know, you're going to have to retire because you know, we're not going to pay you. You know, but the reason why Ben got the contract he got, because he was one of the best. You can't, you can't, you can't discount and cheap your way through. It's just not how it works. Too bad to sell, somebody got to go. Gallup got to go. Gallup gonna want some money. Gallup not gonna be with us uh too much longer. Now that's who you can trade if you ask me. You need to trade Gallup away and try to get something from him. We all know Gallup gonna want number one money. He ain't gonna get that from us. Don't be like a wolf for Byron Jones. We all knew Byron Jones at the cornerback position, especially after he made first team all pro. We knew Byron Jones was going to ask for money. They should have known. They should have traded Byron away. What'd they do? They let Byron walk. Absolutely nothing came back from Byron Jones. Gary says, after Rogers, Wilson, and maybe Deshaun, who you taking over that? I think Russell Wilson deserves to be in that conversation. Uh, yeah, you already got Russell up there. I'm sorry. After Rodgers, Wilson, maybe Deshaun. Well, Mahomes, definitely. Mahomes, without question. Uh, Mahomes is the one that you didn't have up there. But I think that's just a given. Mahomes, Rodgers, Wilson, and Deshaun. 
The song, you know, and, and here's the thing about the song. You know, I, you know, and, and I'm not knocking them, but hey, the song ain't done nothing. What, what have the song done? And I, and I know you take a team effort and all that kind of stuff, but the song ain't done nothing. A lot of people saying they should, yeah. Gary said they should have paid Byron instead of Jalen. But Byron wanted too much money, though, Gary. That's the only thing I'm going to say about that. Now, he won Deion Sanders. Or nobody. I mean, he was a first-team All-Pro, though. I mean, coverage-wise, he was the best. He didn't, he, you know, he ain't had no picks. But uh, if we had Byron this year, I think our defense would have been a whole lot better because he proved he can do it one-on-one. -on -one. You don't make first-team All-Pro for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But but I Byron wanted way too, and Miami paid him too. I'm talking about they flat out pay him. Exactly. Gary said I didn't include Mahomes because that's a given. And what you said is why I said maybe Deshaun. Exactly. I, I exactly. Hey, uh, Ron, I I agree with you. That that over Deshaun, uh, because Deshaun at one time did have weapons. I mean, he had one of the greatest weapons you can ever have in, in uh, Hopkins, and he had uh, a number two. Uh, you know, uh, he had a tied end. He had somewhat of a defense. He just didn't have a, a great running back, but Houston ain't done nothing. No. I'm not saying Deshaun can't ball. Lord knows he can. Uh, great player, but he not better, than, you know, right now. He's not, not better than that. He's not better than that. He's not. Uh, Gary says I would take Dak over Deshaun. I said maybe because some people think Deshaun is better. You're going to have that split. You're going to have that split. Uh, some people are excited about Deshaun because cause he's, he, he's uh, you know, it's just something about a guy that can run the football, pull it down, double threat, and all that kind of stuff. That's fine and dandy. And you can't argue with Deshaun. Had great numbers. Uh, you know, I hate to say it like this, but I always make it real simple. If you put Deshaun behind this team here, this same team, what would have happened? You know, the defense still would have been the same. Deshaun would have put up the same numbers Dak was doing. Deshaun probably would have rushed a little bit more. But in the end of the day, how many games really would we have won? Probably nine. Eight, nine. That's not a job. Let's let put it this way. However you may feel about Dak and Deshaun, whatever the case may feel, may be, I'm sorry, the gap isn't that much. Let's just say it like that. If you think Dak is better than Deshaun, it ain't by much. And the vice versa for Deshaun over Dak. If you if you like Deshaun, it's not, it's not by much. The gap isn't big. Mahomes is a gap. You see what I'm saying? Russell Wilson is a gap. Aaron Rodgers, there's a gap between those guys. You know, Deshaun, I really don't see the gigantic difference. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. And and and, and when we start talking about this, look who we comparing Dak to. We comparing Dak to the best quarterbacks in the league. That ought to tell you something. And which is a further evidence of why I just don't understand why. We still at the same position that we've been in for the last three years. And I can't do but nothing but conclude this one statement. And that is the reason why we there is because Jerry does not fully believe in Dak Prescott. That's this is the it don't take this long, y'all. I see you, Ron. It don't take this long to sign to sign this quarterback. This ain't just not happening this all season. This has been the problem for the last three. It don't take that long. It don't. It ain't that much confusion. It's not. It's not. And, and I don't. I don't. And, and that's the only thing that I. I, I think they still having meetings. Saying, you know, looking at that game tape, man, just, just debating, like, man, can he can he really take us over the top? I mean, we have no question about him in the locker room and 
and and and, and his work outside of football and how many people love him. We don't have no problem with that. We we understand that. But on this field, though, can can I believe they really? I believe this is really going on. Can 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 he really get the job done? And and my and my comeback is. You invested all that stuff in Romo, and as great as Romo was, in my opinion, you know, he was good enough, but Romo didn't get you nowhere. Romo didn't get us nowhere. Yeah, Romo spotted us a few good years. That's what Romo did. Ending in heartbreak. I, 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 I you know, I, what's the difference? What's the difference? Name one quarterback who has endured this. On this level win, there has not been none. Kirk Cousins made a decision that he wanted the franchise tag. He bet on himself. Dak Prescott don't want the franchise tag. He wants a long-term deal. Kirk Cousins rolled the dice, and he didn't crap out. He, he, he made it happen. He didn't get hurt. He had a few good years. Then he finally got his deal with Minnesota after two years on the franchise tag. Minnesota, all you got to have is one team that believe in you. Minnesota believed in Kirk Cousins, gave him the big contract, and he's there. And Kirk Cousins is not a bad quarterback. We, we, we just not, we just not, you know, I, I don't see the same attention now. Gary says it's Mahomes, Rodgers, Wilson, and Dak, and it won't be long before you can debate what order they go in. Uh, uh, look, you know it's just your preference. Let, look, let, let me let me show you the progression of Dak real quick. Do y'all remember just a couple years ago? This, this, this is what sells it for me. Everybody got their own little you know judging point. This, this is what got it for me, y'all. Do y'all remember just a couple of years ago? Do you remember how when we started talking about that? Do you remember what the dilemma was? We were saying this. Is Dak better than Matt Ryan? Is Dak better than Jared Goff? Is Dak better than Carson Wentz? Those were the names that you heard in that little group there. And most people had Dak under all three of them. And in one year or two, Dak has surpassed all three of them, which makes it even harder for me to understand what the problem is. There is no question now. There is no question now. Is Dak better than Matt Ryan? Yes. Is Dak better than Carson Wentz? It almost hurt me to let that come out of my mouth. Of course he's better than Wentz. Is he better than Jared Goff? Everybody say now Dak is better. So if he's ahead of them, who's ahead of Dak? Those names that you just saw, Gary, that's that. That's what those names, let me put it up for you. Since, since, since Dak was in that little group, they said, they used to say Dak is made, look, look y'all remember that, Dak is maybe in the second tier of quarterback. That's what they said about Dak. Y'all remember that? Dak done surpassed all of them now. And so who's ahead of Dak? Those names that you see on your screen. And please don't come telling me about Josh Allen. Please don't come telling me about Lamar Jackson. Don't do that. Lamar is a great athlete. I'll give you that. He is not a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. There's a difference. Lamar is a better athlete, all-around athlete, than Dak Prescott. But he is not a better quarterback than Dak. Josh Allen just got in the league. You got to have some, some, some more pages in your book before you start talking about him better than Dak. I'm not saying he can't get there. I'm just saying that. But I'm saying those guys, you know, uh, uh, let, let's even go further. The list used to include on here, Gary, the list used to include Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger. Those are the names that used to be 
right there too. That everybody said Dak is better. Okay, let's look at the thing. I know Breeze is great, but now is Dak Prescott better than Drew Breeze? Yes. Okay. Another name that goes up there, Gary, Brady. Now, I'm not going to insult Tom Brady because we all know the answer to that. Is Dak better than Brady? No. He just proved it again. Okay? So here we go. Ben Roethlisberger. Is there any question right now? I, I mean, is Dak better than Ben now? Yes. Yes. So I'm saying Dak done in, in, in a year and a half. Okay. Dak in a year and a half has 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 knocked down about five or six trees that everybody said he was better or he wasn't as good as. He done bypassed all of them. Golf, Wentz, Matt Ryan, Ben, Breeze. Huh? And he still can't get paid. Oh, oh thank, thank, thank you, Gary. I wasn't even going to say that. But let, let me say this. There was some of y'all, So, because some of y'all going to watch the replay. Thank you, Gary Bryant. There was some of y'all that said, oh, oh, Garoppolo. Jimmy G was better than Dak Prescott. Are you, huh? Lord have mercy. I, let, let me let me say some look. He wasn't better than Dak Prescott when he was playing. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying they can make him per look and, and and check this out. Christ is the only profession with a Dak here and a Dak there. He's a cowboy, so they better be scared. Yeah, let let, let me say this. Let me say this about uh, Frisco. But check it out. They paid Garoppolo, traded for him. They paid him. They believed in Garoppolo. And let me tell you this right now. If Dak Prescott, if they had a choice, see, that's really all you got to do. If Dak Prescott, if the 49ers had a choice between right, I'm talking about right now, between Jimmy G and Dak Prescott, they would pack Jimmy G's bag and send him on somewhere. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you. Since everybody talking about Carson Wentz is going either to the Colts or, or or the Bears, let me tell you something right now. If if there was a choice for the Colts or the Bears between Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott, they'll leave Carson Wentz right there in Philadelphia where he is now. I'm just I'm just telling y'all the truth. If the option was there. They will hurry up and take Dak Prescott. So I, I, I based off all of this, and some of you are agreeing with me, I, I don't know what else the man has to do. I, I just, I think it's, it's horrible. The way he's being disrespected, I, 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 I hate the way that he's being uh, treated. Yeah. Well, Gary, just, thank, thank you, Gary. Gary just said it like this. Some people don't forget, Dak Prescott was drafted in the fourth round. Gary is right. If they did a redraft with those quarterbacks that got taken before Dak in his year draft, Dak Prescott would have been the number one pick over Carson Wentz, over golf. Huh? I'm just saying. All those guys came out the same year. So it, 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 it's just, look, I don't I don't know what, what they what they're doing. I, I understand they gotta play it out and get to everybody talking. Jerry love the drama. I get it. And and who knows? Like I said, all these little shows I've done about that probably gonna get it thrown down the, 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 the drain. Because they probably are gonna sign him to a long deal. I, I don't. I don't know. He gonna get the franchise tag. I'm quite sure of that. But if he get a long term deal, 
hey, what, 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 what I've been talking about will mean a hill of beans. I just don't see why it is taking so long for people's mind to be made up. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Uh, the kid has done it by the book. He's done it by the book. He, he's, he's, he's been a, he's been great in the locker room. He's been great on the field. He's been great off the field. He's a person that you can let him lead your franchise. I, I thought that's what the franchise quarterback was. I, I'm sorry. I don't get it. I don't get it. Exactly. Dwayne says, Tags, you say before they replay those Mississippi State games, the kid is a winner. Dak is a winner. He, he's a winner. Some of y'all smart cowboy, Alec Cowboy, going to say, what has he won? Well, he ain't won the Super Bowl. I give you that. He's won one playoff. But, you know, for those that love to hold up the Romo banner, I mean, how many wins did Romo get in the playoff? What, two? Two in ten years? I think Dak got one so far? Fifth year? I think it's safe to say I believe he's going to win a few more playoff games. I, I just don't I just don't get it. But I hate to sound repetitive. Listen, uh yeah, he's a winner. He has a winning attitude. He's a winner. It ain't his fault the defense was horrible. I mean, come on now. It's not his fault. It's a team game. You can't blame Dak for a defense that's giving up 30 points a game. You can't you can't Dak was throwing all of y'all. We still lose. We were scoring 30, but we were giving up 32. We were giving up 33 points. We were giving up 35. We were scoring 30, but we were giving up 35. You can't blame that on that. You can't blame that on that. You can't. If the defense is horrible, it's horrible. Dak ain't playing cornerback and 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 and, and defensive tackle and, and, and you know, and linebacker. He ain't playing that. That's not on Dak. Dak did what he got to do. Third, you know, when you score 30 points, you usually win a football game. Y'all, y'all do realize that, right? When you score 30 points, you usually win. You do. You really do win. I I I I, I don't I don't get it. Listen. I, I just don't get it. Listen. Thank you guys. Let me say this one last time. The fragrance shop Memphis, as I told you guys, is getting real close. Go and support my fraternity brother. If you can buy some cologne or perfume for your significant other for Valentine's Day, every fragrance you can think of, all you have to do is go there. He will take care of you. Uh, be a great Valentine's Day gift for your people. Please go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis, Fragrance Shop Memphis at gmail.com. It's a Facebook page, the Fragrance Shop Memphis. Don't type in the Fragrance Shop. You have to type in the Fragrance Shop Memphis. I promise you. He will take care of you on that note. I promise you he will. Uh, I mean, Gary said we were getting up 47 points off the bus. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm just telling you the truth. Stay tuned, y'all. Look, I told you guys on Saturday that something was going to happen. Between Saturday and Tuesday, which is the night, we saw the little drama. I believe that we're going to see something else between now and Saturday. When I come on Saturday at 3 o'clock, Saturday at 3 o'clock, I'm not even going to say what I'm talking about. I'm just going to see. Look, when y'all hear something, you ain't got to ask. Y'all know I'm coming. I'm coming. If, if, if it's something that if we see some more drama, I'm going to talk about it, put my own spin on it. I got a feeling we're going to see something else. Uh, let, let me say this before I, I see you, Wendy. I see you. I, I see you. Wendy asked me, I'm going to leave that there and, and, and do it. Listen, let me say this to you before I go. Listen, if you guys want to become a patron of my show, uh, if you want to support me in this area that I'm doing, why don't you um, – uh, go to the big time show, dollar sign the big time show. That is the cash app for it. 
you guys can uh, can do that. Uh, all you have to do is type that in, and whatever your heart uh, desires, uh, you know, God bless you, and we'll take it. If not, I appreciate you here uh, for listening to me. Also, if you're on Podbean, you have a uh, thing that I have set up. Is that button there says become a patron. Uh, what I have there is actually just for $5 a month. Uh, if that's what you want to do, if not, you can do something else. Uh, it can be there, uh, and all you can be an automatic patron of the show. <clears throat> I'll put you in a little group that I have, uh, and also, uh, let you guys in on some of the thoughts that I have. I actually come to my group and ask them, Hey, what y'all want me to talk about? And, uh, I don't mind doing that also. So it, it behooves you to, if you want to be, help me out in that area, if you're on Podbean, consider becoming a patron of the show. That's all you had to do. Also, for those of you that have businesses, for those of you that have little business, you want to become a sponsor on the show, just like the Fragrance Shop Memphis, uh, inbox me, uh, inbox me uh, on Facebook if you want to. I'm about to type that in. I think most of you are my Facebook friends. Most of you are, but if not, um, that is, well, here's my Facebook handle. It's my name, uh, but there it is there for you. Uh, there it is right there. That's my name. Go to Facebook, dial that in, inbox me, become my friend. And if you want to be a, a sponsor of my show, we can talk about it and we'll get everything hooked up. We can advertise your business on this show. I have no problem with it. I love helping people. Uh, want to see everybody come up. Uh, and this is a platform that you can use for your business. So whatever you want to do, we're here for you. This is the big time show. Listen, I will see you guys <clears throat> on Saturday. I hope something happened between now. But as Wendy just told me, let me look and see. Got my phone out. Y'all might want to check your phone out. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can look together. Let me see if I see any breaking news. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, Dak Prescott still not signed. I can't. I, I, I'm tired of ending my show this way in depression and 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 <laughs> and downtrodden. I'm tired of this. Somebody need to do something, man. I just want to see my guy get paid. I can't stand it. But I'm out of here. Thank you guys. Appreciate you for lending me here for a little while. We'll see you Saturday at three o'clock p.m. Central Time. For another edition of You Know What, this is The Big Time Show. Pod Bean, they can't hear me on Facebook, but you can. Appreciate my Pod Bean family that stayed with me. Y'all keep hanging with me. We're going to keep moving. Y'all know what the show is, right? Y'all know what it is. Put your hand together. This is the Big Time Show. See y'all Saturday. <laughs> Doug Brooks got a podcast. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> the Big Time Show.